Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Under here back with yet another 100% achievement of trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Ark Survival Ascended. Now this once again was developed and published by Studio Wildcat and is usually available for £37.49 but is now on Xbox Game Pass. So if you're wondering if this is a completely new ARK game, it's not what it is. It's basically been reimagined from the ground up into the next gen of video game technology. And it's on Unreal Engine 5, which is pretty unreal. And it does look fantastic, in all fairness. Um, now, in terms of if you're wondering if the achievements are the same as um, ARK uh, what was the other one? Ascended? No, this is this one. Arc Evolved, whichever one it is. Yes, they are pretty much the same. There's only two achievements which are missing from the original game, um, so you don't have to worry about that. But effectively, this is going to be the same guide that I done the last time, if you remember. Of course you remember. <laughs> um, but there are things that are going to make it easier, and of course we will be using the epically beautiful console commands once again in order to get this done potentially around an hour or two so with that being said then let's do it and of course what we're going to do is press the x button to go into settings first of all and then what we're going to do is go into advanced eventually there we go and you can see on the left there it says console access we're obviously going to be turning that on so make sure that that is on and then you can go ahead go down to save at the bottom here we go he's our gear he's our key and then now we are going to start the game we're going to go on to create game so obviously yep it's it's obviously a couple of things are looking different obviously from the very, very original but, uh, yeah, there are just things, especially the console command menu. It's It's been made quite a bit easier this time around, which is nice. So we're going to uh, choose the island, and we're going to obviously choose single player as well. Um, you can go ahead and turn motion blur off if you want. Uh, but if you're not bothered by it, then, well, screw it. We'll just carry on. So, once again, obviously, you can create whatever you want. We can randomize whatever we want. Now, uh, she did well, she looks great, but what we're going to do is randomize it and go for, oosh, I want to be smothered, smothered like a, smothered like a hash brown gets smothered by beautiful beans, or something, it's just a British breakfast way, it's just how it goes. Right, so, obviously, if you've played the other ARC game, this will all look familiar, because it's pretty much the same. So, yeah, <laughs> let's do it, as I said. Now, uh, bef uh, obviously, before what you would have had to do was press a bunch of button, a uh, bunch of buttons all at the same time. What we're going to do this time, because in the settings we put the console command box on, press start and then the select button, and then the console command box will appear. Well, right in front of us, there it is, and then we can actually enter the command there. Now, what will happen then? Uh, so obviously, what we'll do first, we'll pop in uh, God. And press the start button. That will automatically give us God mode. And then we'll do the same. So press the start button. Then select. And then we are going to do... Leave me alone! Leave Britney alone! Damn it! But no, leave me alone. And that obviously, for the most part, will get dinosaurs to leave us alone. And other stuff. It doesn't make too much of a difference. And the other one will be infinite stats. So again, you're going to press start. You're going to press select. And we are going to type in infinite stats. Now, as you can see there with the console command UI, UI, um, it's basically a list. So rather than having to type out the, even if you do uh, start a new game or you quit out to the main menu and come back or whatever, the console command, whatever you've popped in, I think it's up to maybe 10 or something, they will always be on that list. So it genuinely does, awesomely, save you having to type it all out again. So if you, again, like I said, if you quit out of the main menu or come back later on, the cheats for you with the console commands will still be there. So you can just press that once rather than having to type it out again. But what we're going to go for, first of all, then, we are now going to go to... Uh, obviously, the console command box and type in give 
All Explorer Notes. Now this will unlock the first 11 achievements of this game, which is just fantastic. But yes, so give All Explorer Notes. And well, I might as well tell you, we're going to get Studious Explorer, Adventurous Explorer, Experienced Explorer, Beginner Explorer, Perfect Explorer, Master Explorer, Expert Explorer, Professional Explorer, Adept Explorer, Veteran Explorer, and Veteran Paleontologist. So obviously that's just going to take a few seconds here to, uh, you know, catch up. So we're just going to, uh, the, the magic of editing. I am going to continue on this craft. But anyway, like I said, that's the first 11 that we are going to do. And there we go, eventually. It did take a while. Now we're in a completely different location. Ah! Right, anyway, what we're going to do now is head to the bottom of the Ark's Oceans. Now, normally, if you were an explorer, if you went as, as far down as possible, you'd pretty much be dead. But of course, this is video games, and we can put God Mode on, so that's all good. So what we're going to do, back into the console command box, we are going to put set player POS all in one word. So set player POS. No, it doesn't stand for piece of Scheisenhausens. I don't think, anyway. Uh, then it's space zero, then space three, four, zero, 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 zero. And then we need to do the... Minus or the hyphen, whichever one it's called, space uh, 49000. As soon as you hit start, that'll get us there, and then we can swim to our heart's content. La 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 Okay, so now what we're going to do is get to the highest peak. But this has been buggy. It was buggy for me, so I'm going to tell you a way we can sort that one out. So next up, we go again, we're going to type in set player piece of Schnitzenhausen's set player POS uh, space hyphen nine seven five zero zero space and then a little hyphen again. See, it can be a pain in the buttonhole, this one, uh, doing it on the Xbox. Uh, 51700, space 46000. Now, what that will do, it will put us to the highest peak, but for whatever particular reason, I think you need to do this without God mode on. Um, and I didn't know, I couldn't find a way to turn it off for some reason. So, uh, Genuinely, I spent 40 minutes running around absolutely everywhere and nothing was working and I was losing my absolute... Like these dinosaurs here, that's what I was getting like. Yeah. And... Uh, roar. <laughs> Stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yes, what I'd done, as you can see there, was just quit out completely to the Xbox uh, dashboard. Uh, trust me, just do it first time, there's no point. Um... Again, because I had God Mode and Infinite Stats on, that's what I think uh, happened um, with that one. So, once you have popped that back and you're all good to go, the, now it does still want you to sort of nip around. Um, and as you can see there, because I've put some in, even though I've quit out of the dashboard, they will always remain there, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we start off on the highest peak here. Now I think uh, what we do need to do is a little bit of running around. So on these peaks right here, we're just going to uh, go down the old slope and house and trousen just a little bit. Get to this little skateboard bit. Rah! Skateboard bit without the skateboard, of course, because we are not Tony Hawk. We're more like, well, I'm more like Tony Crap. But I love Tony Hawk. Uh, anyway, once you uh, come up, Back up to this sort of main sort of flat area with some metal bits and everything. You should now unlock it as soon as we get to the other side. So it should unlock right around here. There we go. Friendly. But yes, that did take about 45 minutes of me running about and looking like a douchebag. So yes, if it's not unlocking for whatever particular reason, uh, just go ahead, completely quit out to the dashboard and then zoom yourself back there. 
Okay, now we're going to get a couple of uh, easy achievements. The first one, what we're going to do is go back into our console command section. And we are going to type in the code set time of day, all as one word. Eventually, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing right now. I mean, at the minute, again, it is 2.41 in the a.m. Um, see, I'm... The, I'm lo not that I'm losing sleep, but um, I am sacrificing sleep just to get this up for you guys, even though pretty much you could just go ahead and find my other arc guide, which will probably uh, is exactly the same thing. So set time of day, and then you're going to go space zero six, and then colons, 30 colons, and then zero zero. Uh, now, it probably won't work the first time, so if it doesn't, just go ahead, go back into your, uh, uh, go back into the console command section, and again, thankfully, because we don't have to type it out, we can just go up to the top, set time of day, click on this one again, and that is what should get your first day achievement, bop in and unlock in. Right, finally, now we can see the old big dinosaurs of life. Not just the ones that are uh, on chocolate bars and stuff. So, the code that we're going to need is summon, so S U M M O N space rex underscore character. So, summon space rex underscore character, C H A R A C T E R. Um, blah, 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 underscore again. B, P, for big pranks, and then underscore C. Sorry, I was trying to think of something completely random there. So once you've done that, uh, make sure to pause and then quickly look up at the dinosaur, apparently the dinosaur butthole, and then go into your console command and then type do, uh, do tame, all in one word. So D-O-T-A-M-E. I thought it said do do tummy, but no, that's do tame. Uh, so you can name your Rex after you get your first dino achievement. Now, I just called him Testy Rex because, you know, I have Am's childish brain and everything. You've probably watched enough of my guides to uh, realize that by now. <laughs> yeah. So, Testy Rex. Good set of Testy Rexes right there. So, we're going to go ahead and spawn another Rexy boy. So, again, what we can do is go into the console command menu, and luckily we don't have to type it out. So, go up, back up to summon Rex character. And then, once you have, pop this one in. Again, look square at the old dino butt. And this time, we are going to use the code FORCE TAME. So, F O R C E T A M E. And then, what that'll do is, for some reason, that'll put a saddle on the back of him. Um, so we can just go up ahead, press the Y button when you get close to its legs, and we're... yeah, cowboy! We're gonna get two achievements here. Your first ride. Uh-huh, Dinosaur didn't expect that. And a Rex Rider. We didn't expect that either. But that is two achievements that we're gonna do, and then we're, um, we're gonna jump off, and we're gonna go yabba dabba do. And then we're basically going to repeat the same thing we've done with a Gigasaurus, or, <clears throat> excuse me, a Gigantosaurus, as it were. So again, obviously back into console command menu of life. And then this time, what we're going to do, now what you can do as well, actually, instead of typing the whole thing out, what you could have done was press X to edit on the summon uh, Rex, and then you could have literally just changed it from uh, T-Rex to Gigant. Uh, again, so it just saves a little bit of time there, but yes. So that's what you can do, um, which makes things a lot easier. So summon space Gigant underscore character underscore BP underscore C. And then... Uh, <laughs> now, what would have been funnier is if uh, Gigantosaurus was actually like, you know, a, a kind of a kind of Warwick Davis, you know, very tiny little cute dinosaur. Um, but it's not. So look straight at that gigantic butt. Force tame. Press the Y button in order to ride the boy. Girl, whichever one you want. 
Come in. And... Wah! I did want to jump off the edge of the cliff just to see what would happen, but uh, apparently I just got, got him to eat some st uh, rocks and stuff instead. So, with that one done, now that one is done. So, what we are going to do now is go for... And I'm sorry to say this, it's quite frankly a bit of a pain in the old button snatch. And it is going for the maximum survivor. So originally, what you uh, could have done, very originally, very first of all, is typed in add experience and then go four, two, four, six, eight. And then type in eight nines and then space zero and space zero. And then that'll give you all the experience. Now, what you would then do is press the B button to go into your inventory. And then we would level ourselves up. Now, you see where you got all the arrows flashing right there? Yeah, just literally, doesn't matter what you put it in. But originally, like I said, you would level yourself up to level 105. And then that is what would give you the maximum survival achievement. Only this time, I, in updates and stuff like that, the max level, or the max level for me, personally, anyway, was 134. So, there's a bit of a different way. So, you can still do this. Obviously, it'll still give you um, up to 115 or whatever we just got. But what we're going to do now is type in... Um, in fact, actually, this is what we're going to do first. We're going to type in add experience and then... 2, 4, 6, 8, and 12. Okay, so add experience and then space... One, and then 12 zeros, 12 zeros, and then again, space one, space zero, and again, this will, this should give us a couple of more levels. Um, if it doesn't, that's fine, because what we're going to do now is actually we're going to effectively now end the game and come back to it. Uh, so this time we're going to type in player command. So this is actually going to be for one of the first endings um, because the title updates, uh, as I said originally, they increased the level cap and then they increased it again. So player command space ab ascend three. And as I said, that's going to be one of the first endings. Um... So, yeah, why not? Because that's always fit. A bit of Alpha Ascension. I am the Alpha Dog. I am Andrew Tate with the head of a button mushroom. Everybody loves me because of my small button penis. Is what I expect, yeah, yeah. Right, so, once we load back in... Now, there's probably an easier way to do it, but for some reason, it just... This has caught quite a few people out, um including myself, in all fairness. Uh, so it could, like I said, it could be easier, first of all, to just go ab ascend, skip the credits, respawn back in, and then do the ad experience thing. Um, but yeah, so I'm not sure. I did, there was other things I tried, but nothing seemed to work. So the only thing that eventually, like I said, ended up working for me was what you've seen so far. Come on, stop looking around, nappy head. And then we will click back on Add Experience. So remember, I'm still on level 115 at the minute. So click on Add Experience once again. And now that should give us another 15. But as I said, uh, I'm still on level 130 and I'm on 96%. Hopefully 130 is good for you, but for some reason it was 135 for me. So what I ended up doing again was completely quitting out to the Xbox dashboard. Um, if you wanted to, and, and again, I do apologize, this bit is a little bit messy, but I literally, I, I have no idea. It, it didn't go smooth this part for me. Um, but if you wanted to just go back into your console command menu and um, add the experience again to see if that would work, that's always a way of doing it. Um, but as I said, I literally added it, got to level 130, and then for some reason quitting out of the game and going back in seemed to work. So if you're having problems with that, just keep uh, quitting out to the main menu, the Xbox dashboard, going back in, putting the experience 1 and 12 zeros, and then hopefully, 
that should work. But uh, yeah, so again, I do apologize that uh, this part of the guide is pretty damn messy. Um, but it seems to be quite a little bit buggy, a little bit weird with this one. Anyway, so once we're back again and we go, ah, oh, I'm wielding the sword of a thousand truths. Oh, oh. Come on. Okay, right, sorry, yeah, here we go then. So as you can see then, I'm still on 96%. So we go back, add experience, all that stuff, and then for some reason it decided to work. So once we have done this, I will finally get... There we go, up to level 135, sorry, not 134. So at level 135, it seems to be. Um, so, yeah. That's it, so hopefully, if you just quick out to the dashboard and go back in, hopefully you'll have a bit of a smoother and easier time of it than I just did, which, yeah. But again, like I said, I am sorry that uh, that, that one was a bit bit of a weird uh, piece of crap right there, but, you know, we get there in the end. So, next up, we are going to do a little bit of flying, dinosaur flying. So, we're going to go summon space... Tero, so P-T-E-R-O, underscore character, and then underscore B-P, underscore C again, just like we did with the other dinos. Oilia, earlier. By the way, still no news on Arc 2, so if you're waiting for Arc 2, well, I got bad news for you. Nobody knows. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows when Arc 2 or Half-Life 3 is coming. Uh, right, so what you need to do is make sure to force tame, of course, the old pterodactyl. I come back here, flying thing. And make sure to get your ass on his ass. Give him a little bit of a ride. And now we are going to basically max him out. So, um, we should already have the ad experience 9999999999 somewhere. Uh, so there we go. If you've got that, uh, you should be good. So add experience. Nine, 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 zero, zero. Then we're going to press the X button. And effectively, what we've done with us, we're just going to uh, put all his available points in whatever you want. Um, but luckily, the pterosaur, sorry, it's not a pterodactyl. The, the Bulbasaur pterosaur is, max level is 75. So we should be good for that one. Um... But yes, so this next achievement after we get the maximum dinosaur is the map maker. And that's for uncovering more than 80% of the mini map. So if you've done this originally, you will know even if we are completely fast as hell, you will know how tedious this really is. Uh, but again, there's going to be a few, uh, few ways. We're just going to make it go a little bit quicker. Again, it still took me about 15 to 20 minutes of... Uh, nipping all through the map, but you know, it's, it's the stuff we do for achievements. Some of the games we played for achievements, you know, this is like a, this is simples. So that will do for that. Right, what we're going to do then, since he is all maxed out, make sure to put um, God Mode and Infinite Stats on. Um, purely because uh, we can keep the Pterosaur's stamina full all the way, because if he runs out of stamina, he drops you, you die, the end. Um, so what we can do then, if you press the right bumper, once you're in a dinosaur, press the right bumper uh, to go into basically first person mode, and then the left bumper in order to go into the map. Um, and then what we can do... Now, I've only started it off slow, just so I can get used to riding the, <laughs> riding the thing, and then sort of getting yourself up. You press the A button to fly off, and then get used to it, but once you are a little bit more used to it and you're all good... Console command and type in slow-mo, S-L-O-M-O, space 7 or 8, 9, 10, whichever one you want. And basically that makes everything go fast. So get the map back out. Now, obviously what you can see is like a big massive grid. You can also click the left stick in to go even faster. So what I do then is I headed effectively all the way for the bottom left corner of the map. And obviously, as you can see, it's on a square grid. So what you'll do is, as I said, head all the way to the bottom left-hand corner of the map. 
And then what I ended up doing was going up and down and up and down and up and down, filling in, completely filling in each square as I went. Um, that's basically the easiest way you can do it. Like I said, even though we are still super fast, this is a big, chunky old map, boy. Uh, so be prepared for about 15 to 20 minutes of flying around and going... Or, you know, whatever fast music is uh, these days. <laughs> these days, music sucks balls. Am I right, fellow old people? Fellow 1990s people? Anyway, so as I said, once you have done a lot of the map, as I said, uh, just basically, you're basically colouring in. Colouring in squares as you go. And once you complete about 80 to 85% of the map, you will get the map maker achievement. Uh, yes, so there we go. Jobs are good and jobs my nan's own buggin. Um, so what we need to do then is go back to normal speed, which is slow-mo one. But every time I tried, it completely just didn't work at all. So that's, it's actually fine because we need to go back to the main menu anyway. Again, this is another one that totally tripped me out. So once we go back to the main menu, create, go to create or resume game again, of course, but make sure this time to go to advance. Now you see where it says no diseases on the right. Make sure to turn this off. We basically have to get a, a leech to start sucking us dry of our blood, obviously. And then we just have to basically get infected and um, get a potion, get an antidote. But with no diseases on, you can't get infected. And this one threw me for a goddamn loop. So make sure no diseases is off. And we've got what looks like sexy Rhea Ripley there. Um, my character, my new character. Oh, Rhea Ripley. Man wrestlers are hot. So first of all, GFI space cure sla uh, space one, space one, space zero. That is what is going to get us the one antidote first. And then once we get it back into the console command, it's summon space leech underscore character underscore diseased underscore C. So once you have put that one in a, a diseased leech, it's basically genital warts. If that's what you are uh, particularly wondering, there we go. He's all warted up. So once he has started sucking us dry, you can see in the bottom right hand corner, we've got a Two leeches, well, it should only be one leech, but the skull, um, not the skull and bones, because apparently that's a terrible game, uh, but the skull is going there. So press the B button to go into your inventory and then the right trigger in order to uh, smash the antidote out. And that'll get us the cure all achievement. And again, it's not buggy or glitchy or anything like that. You've literally got to turn off the uh, no diseases in the main menu. Okay, now we're gonna smash out some bosses. Oh, yeah! Who's ready for some steroids? Sorry, uh, I just meant, uh, no, never mind. Okay, so let's smash out some bosses. We're feeling, <coughs> feeling good. Make sure for the God of love of God, type in, make sure you've got God mode on and infinite stats on. Um, Cause you can, yeah, you can keep this leech sucking you dry, it's, uh, you know, why not? Gives them some character. <laughs> um, but yeah, once you've done God Mode and everything, what you need to then do is go to Summon, obviously back to Console Command, Summon Space Spider L, underscore character, underscore BP, underscore C. I do apologize, I did get a little bit quick there. Um, so yes, it's Summon. You're going to see it uh, in just a moment. You do actually have to wait for the spider to sort of walk around for a few seconds so the game recognizes you've popped him in. Uh, come on, Rhea. Ray, is it Rhea? Rhea Ripley? Well, either way, she turns me on. Right, so there we go. So again, like I said, sorry, it's, it's a little bit quick there. I messed that one up. But it's summon space spider L slash character. Uh, underscore character, underscore BP, underscore C. And then you can go ahead, type in kill. That will kill the spider. And, well, yeah, we can't get out of this unless you slowly punch these spiders to death. Uh, but anyway, let's go to the next one, shall we? Again, just three bosses that we're going to do for more achievements here. So next up, 
And again, like I said, instead of type in te instead of typing it all out, what you could have done is just gone onto the spider one, uh, uh, press X to edit, and then get rid of spider, and then type in gorilla. But it is summon space gorilla underscore character underscore BP underscore C. And then again, you're going to choose the kill option from your console command box. So, here we go then, uh, leave him for just a few seconds, lovely albino gorilla, once he smashes your head in, there we go, make sure to look at him, uh, if you can, try and look at him, and then choose the kill option, that'll be the second one done, so that's expert survivor, and then the third one, um, just trying to bat my way through here, but uh, even the beautiful Rhea Ripley cannot get through. Um, I did actually try putting in kill all here. And as it turned out, <laughs> it didn't work at all. So don't even bother with that. But what we're going to do next then is uh, get the third boss, which is the dragon. So you're going to type in summon space dragon. Uh, underscore character, underscore BP, underscore boss underscore C, and then again, wait a few seconds, and then get him killed. There we go then. So that is the majority of those completely done. So we've only just got a, a couple of things left to grab now. Now, what we can do here, we need to get all 11 artifacts and basically put them in our inventory. So what we're going to do, uh, if you can get away from the monsters and everything, uh, type in summon space artifact crate. So summon space artifact crate. And then we're going to type in underscore one, underscore C. So underscore one, and then underscore C. I know the Xbox way takes a little bit of a while, doesn't it? So that will give us the first artifact. There we go. So what I would do is just head, head for just a little bit, wherever you are. Just give it a little bit of space. Go back to it. Press the X button to edit it. And then... Where one is, put two, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So uh, make sure to just get all eleven out.
But in actual order to get the achievement, what you need to do is uh, go up to the artifact, press the Y button, and then press, it should be on the artifact already in the top left hand corner, you just need to press the left bumper twice. If it doesn't uh, work for you, um, it just means that you've already got that specific uh, artifact in your inventory, so there we go, because obviously there's a couple of times that I ended up, as you can see, uh, accidentally putting the same one down. So. For all 11 artifacts, all the separate ones, again, press the white button when you're next to it, then the left bumper twice, and once that is done, you will get the Artifact Archaeologist Achievement. So there's only three achievements left to get now. Fantastic, huh? So first of all, we're gonna get the final two endings. So all you need to do here is put player command space ascend one. So player command all one word and then space ascend one. A-S-C-E-N-D. That's going to be the gamma ascension. Is this one? And then, uh, yeah, pretty much. If you're following my guide, I'm telling you this is what happiness feels like. Uh, but yeah, so once you've done that, start up again, load the same character, and then we're going to go for the second ending. And again, once we go into your console commands, you can actually just press the X button to edit. The uh, player command bit there should be at the top for you. And then what we're gonna do is player command space ascend three. So just ascend, oh sorry, ascend two. Sorry, not ascend three, ascend two. And that's gonna be the beta ascension. Um, now if you didn't end up getting the alpha ascension, like uh, we did earlier, trying to go for the maximum survivor, just go back into it, player command space ascend three. But then there's only, so that is now all done apart from one achievement. And for this one, you basically have to uh, put, I think it's like 90 specific dinosaur codes in to tame them all, which is a pain in the butt. But as I said, um, now basically there's a whole bunch of batch codes. So what I'm gonna do is put those batch codes in the description box. Um, so that should be your last achievement. So all you're going to do then is eff effectively um, place it in the order that I have done it. Um, again, but that's thanks to originally Shelby GT5252 on True Achievements when it first originally came out. It'll still work for this one. So again, what you're going to it's going to take a while, but just copy it. I'll also put the True Achievements link in, and then it's job done. So thank you so so much for watching, guys and gals. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. See you in the next Game Pass game. Big love.